Well, a recent poll from AAA shows when gas prices crossed that $4 a gallon mark, almost 60% surveyed said they would make changes to their driving habits. If it reaches $5 a gallon, oh God, let's hope not, as it already <laughs> has in some states, three quarters said they would need to adjust their lifestyle. Yeah, and one of those lifestyle changes, taking public transportation. And right now we're tracking a lot of changes coming from Metro riders. What a coincidence, right? A committee passed a new budget for the transit agency today. And one thing that was included, flat rates at certain times of day. Megan Rivers is live at the Roslyn Metro Station in Arlington. And Megan, what are some of the changes riders can expect to become permanent? Good evening. Yeah, they discussed a number of changes in that committee meeting today, including allowing that $2 flat rate for weekend and late night ridership to continue. That would take effect in July once the budget is officially passed. Today, I had a chance to speak with some riders about those changes. In a lengthy meeting discussing the budget for Metro, leaders said ridership is still down in comparison to pre-pandemic levels, causing a drop in the revenue typically generated from ridership. Metro says they surveyed riders and found the bulk of passengers, like Lauren O'Connor, want to see certain fares implemented during the pandemic remain the same. I'm a grad student at George Washington, so I'm on here almost every day. The budget will allow late night and weekend fares to be just $2. It can be just so expensive to Uber or get anywhere, and so the Metro's just a much cheaper op option if you want to explore anything in the city. Free bus rail transfers will also continue. Anna says this will also benefit those who visit the region. Like DC is such a touristy area and I think that like for a lot of people like um, it's it's a great opportunity to just like be able and um, and use public transport instead of like renting a car which is like more environmental friendly as well. Meanwhile work continues on the silver line. Metro says they've already hired 400 new employees and hope to onboard 30 more by the end of the month. But as for now there's no clear date on when the construction will be completed. Well, the proposal to give riders that $5 bonus for adding $25 to their smart trip car was scrapped from the budget. Metro saying that's just too expensive, costing them nearly $7 million. Another change that happened today during that meeting, they announced that they decided to not reappoint the current inspector, current inspector general, uh, Jeffrey Charrington, and instead have reappointed as acting inspector general, Renee Feebles. He will take that over that role in mid-April. With Asilais from here at the Roslyn station, I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back to you all in the studio.